There are healthy ways that you can help someone struggling with depression. Let's talk about it. Welcome back subscriber, you are amazing. Thank you so much for sticking with me during my journey here on YouTube. And if you're new to watching this, I help you with depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem and help you grow as an individual. Hit that subscribe button to support your boy. Show me some love, cause I'm trying to show y'all some love. Make me smile and you make, yeah, I'll make you smile. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. I made a video recently talking about what not to say to a depressed person. Here's the link to the car right now. You can click it and watch it if you need further information. So in this video, to change things around, I'm going to give you different things that you can do to help someone suffering from depression. I do want to clarify that depression is something that I've struggled with throughout my life. So these three points have helped me and I'm hoping that they will help you as well. The first one and arguably the biggest is having empathy. I'm not sure what happened to this world where empathy got lost on along the way, but if you have empathy, it goes a long way. Empathy allows you to imagine yourself in their shoes. Instead of thinking about things from your own perspective, you start to think about things from their perspective. When you start doing that, you stop belittling their problems. You stop saying things like, don't worry, you'll get through this. Life happens, everything's gonna be okay. When you do this, you are completely disregarding their feelings. You're pretty much telling them that their problems aren't as big as they think they are. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you may go through something that's really big to you, but not big to me. But I'm not gonna sit here and disrespect you and say, yo, your problems aren't as big as you think they are. So respect my feelings, respect others' feelings that are suffering from depression, and now give them a feeling that you actually care about what they're going through. The second very helpful way to help someone that is suffering from depression is to literally ask, what can I do for you? How can I help? Now I'm not saying ask this question like this. I don't understand what you freaking want. What do you want me to do to help? How can I help? What do you want me to do? You should be asking the question like this. I know I'm not in your shoes and I can't understand exactly what you're going through, but just understand I'm here to help. Is there anything that you would like me to do? Do you see the difference? The first way would probably put somebody in a very defensive stance. And the second way would obviously show someone that you actually care about how they're feeling. So ask them and it allows them to elaborate and think, you know what, maybe I just need a hug right now. I need you to give me an answer or a solution. I need you to just hear me out. Ask them what you can do to help in the most respectful and kind-hearted, loving way, and they eventually may open up. The last way to help someone that's suffering from depression is to understand you don't need to fix them. <laughs> Man, sometimes people will feel like they have the exact answer to give, they have the exact solution to all the problems, but you don't, because in the end, the only person that can fix themselves is the person suffering from depression. You can give somebody a solution if they really ask for one, but wait until they ask. Don't just go flat out and think that you have the answer to all the problems. I know it's challenging because you really want to help. You want to help fix the problem and change their mindset right now, but it takes time. It is not an easy process to get through. So overall, give it time. They're going through a rough time of their lives and they just need someone to be there to support them and help them through this process. You don't need to solve their problem. You don't need to be mean and rude and aggressive and don't belittle them. They're going through something that's not easy. Love them, have empathy, be there for them. I cannot stress that enough. As I said earlier, it's your boy, Emmanuel with an I, and I really hope that this video helps you help someone else that is suffering from depression. One, depression is not easy, and two, wanting to help but feeling like you can't, that's not easy either. So share this video out with others. I truly think it will help. Hit that subscribe button to support your boy, to help me continue to stay motivated to make these videos for y'all, because I love making these videos. I love making you smile. So make me smile by hitting that subscribe button. All right, I think it is time to end the video. <laughs> So, as I always say, do you stay swagalicious and keep smiling. No matter what, keep smiling. <laughs> Peace.